Starting with the 2010.2 release of DXperience, we're introducing several new editor controls designed to give you the flexibility of displaying formatted data as well as enhanced runtime data editing functionality. These controls are calculators, color pickers, password boxes, and image editors, and they can all be used as independent controls within an application or embedded inside a drop-down control. Let's take a look at these new editor controls in action. Here you can see the calculator editor control, both as a standalone and embedded control. On the top, the calculator is invoked by opening the drop-down box. It provides you the standard functionality you'd expect from a physical calculator. I can perform standard arithmetic operations or find the square root of a number. The standalone control provides the same features but can be embedded anywhere in an application. A notable feature includes the memory functions. I can save a number to the editor's memory and recall it for later use. Next, let's take a look at the new color picker control. Here's a demo application that mimics the behavior of a simple paint program. You can see the color picker control is used here to represent the color swatches available to the application. It can also be invoked using one of the two color drop-down controls at the top. The color picker supports the standard color palette, 20 preset palettes, and can keep a recently used color's history palette. The palette can be customized and the user interface localized. Now on to the password box. This editor control can be used to be displayed as a simple password text box or customized to be a part of a login screen, complete with preset limitations and password validation. You can change the character used to cover up the password text within the editor. The maximum password length can be specified to restrict the length of a password typed in by the end user. Now when I try this, you can see the password strength recommendation bar updating as well as the password validation message at the bottom of the second text box control. Finally, the image editor controls. This control can be used to quickly load, display, and save images. You can see the little menu that appears when I hover over an image. You can of course choose not to display the menu by disabling it in the image editor control. Using this menu, I can copy, paste, cut, clear, load, or save an image. Let's clear an image and load a new one. You can see the image was loaded and properly resized to fit inside the image editor's bounds. I can copy the image to the clipboard and paste it in any of the other image editor controls. The image editor control can also be embedded and invoked using a drop-down box. Let's paste the same image in this editor as well. I can change the behavior of single clicks on the image editor so no action is taken. Or have it automatically display the open file dialog when the editor is clicked. These controls will be available for both WPF and Silverlight platforms in the upcoming release of DXperience. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.